Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll work through some examples of using the average, median, min, and max aggregate and analytic functions to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics. We'll start off with a list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on the salaries stored in the SAL column. The AVG, or average function, gives us the mean value for a set. As the name suggests, the median, min and max functions give us the median, minimum and maximum values. We can use all four functions as aggregate functions. Notice this gives us a single row with the respective values. All 14 rows have been aggregated to a single row. By adding the department number column to the select list and including it in a group by clause, we limit the aggregate function scope to the department level. We now see a separate row for each department with the relevant values in each. If you want to combine the aggregated data with raw data, then you should use analytic functions instead. Here we add an empty over clause into each function call, turning them into analytic functions. Notice we also have regular columns in the select list. When we run this, we can see the raw data as well as the aggregated values for the whole set. As with many analytic functions, adding the partition by clause allows us to put boundaries on the action of the analytic function. If we want to see the values on a per department basis, we need to add partition by department into the analytic clause for each call. Now we see the raw data along with the aggregated data for each department. Not surprisingly, all these functions can be used in mathematical operations. In this example, as well as displaying the minimum salary in each department, we subtract it from the current salary to show the difference. As expected, we see the current salary, minimum salary in the department and the difference between the two. In a previous video, we used the first value and last value analytic functions to capture the lowest and highest salaries. The flexibility of analytic functions means you'll often find multiple ways to achieve the same result. This is an example of that. Here we get the lowest salary in the department using the min and first value analytic functions. We also get the highest salary in the department using the max and last value analytic functions. When we run this, in each case we see we've achieved the same result in two ways. I hope this has helped you understand how to use the average, median, min and max aggregate and analytic functions. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.